Raise your hand if you had to try something again or change what you were doing because it didn't work the first time or the second time or even the third time. At Imagineers, that's what we call a stop sign. Many people think that stop signs are bad, but here's a secret. They don't have to be. When we practice adapting to solve our stop signs, we strengthen the part of our brain that makes us resilient. Take a look at these two parts of the brain. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for critical thinking and problem solving. This other smaller part of our brain called the amygdala is the reactive part. It plays a very important role. Think about the last time you touched a hot stove. What happened? You probably pulled your hand away pretty quickly, right? In fact, you didn't even have to think about it. That was your amygdala in action. It may be small, but its function is to keep us alive, which allows it to overpower the rest of the brain. Unfortunately, it's also the brain's emotional center and makes us blame, complain, or give up when we get frustrated. But did you know that we can actually train ourselves to keep our amygdala calm? You've just gotta use the Imagineer's secret weapon, the I can path. Its four steps are designed to calm the amygdala and also stimulate the prefrontal cortex. ka -chow! Take a look. The first step is inhale. Taking deep breaths lets your amygdala know that you're not in any danger. The second step is to calm down. If you need to, take a break from your problem and do something you enjoy like drawing or farting and blaming it on your neighbor. Once your amygdala is calm, move to the third step, which is adapt. It's all about stimulating the prefrontal cortex. Think of it like mini ideation time, where you come up with a bunch of solutions to your problem. And the last step is now try. When you face your stop signs today, what did you do?